Hey guys, welcome to Cody's Art Corner. Um, I'm kind of publishing some videos pretty fast. Uh, the reason why I have you guys kind of widened it looking at me today uh, for part of this is uh, because I want to talk to you about proportions. Um, I told you I was going to conquer the head. Um, <clears throat> now, my hairs, uh, I obviously have my um, hat off today. And that's for part of this. I'm going over the proportions. Um, so when you look at a head and you're getting ready to design a head, <clears throat> you notice yesterday I put in those uh, lovely little cr uh, cross lines. I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate here. So um, let me switch over to red real quick. So I'm drawing a head, right? just a generic head. I'm not worried about it looking fancy right now. But you noticed I kind of drew these lines right here. Going from top to bottom. That was really crooked. Um, you guys are going to get the opportunity to um, watch me actually draw a little bit today uh, in my next video. I'm going to go ahead and erase that line just because it looks ridiculous. Um, but I, I set up those cross lines right there on the head and here's why okay so what I want you to do <coughs> is um, either look at me while I'm doing this so I can explain it or you can do it along with me um, take your fingers just measure and feel from one corner of the eye to the uh, to the end of the corner of the eye should be about that, right? Well, when you're doing your proportions on a face, you've got an eye's width between each eye. And also to go along with that, if you take that eye width, it should be from the corner of the eye to uh, about, the, about your ear, that should be about where it's at. Uh, a little bit more than an eye is okay. Everything in the head can be measured by eyes and uh, I'll go ahead and show this um, as well as I'll also show you some of the cross lines too um, okay so I'm just gonna do some generic eyes here there's an eye right there nothing fancy um, I think three-year-old drawing anyway and there's about an eye width in between you know uh, maybe I should change colors here real quick. Um, I'll change colors for the other eyes. Um, just kind of get rid of this line real quick. Alright, we'll go into a different color. I'll go into blue. Um, but notice there, there's about an eye's distance there to there. If you were to do another eye's distance rounding your head, right there, you'd have an ear. You know. In this case, it's pretty easy because um, I've got everything um, set up here already. Um, and it's pretty easy to just follow your lines here for where your ears are, especially seeing as I'm doing a frontal view. Um, and then if you go, your nose from bridge to um, the lower portion where your nostrils are, it's also the same size as an eye. Same thing. You know, so one full eye's distance between the eyes from the pupil of the center eye here um, is at the bottom of the nose. So, I mean, like I said, think three-year-old drawing, but, you know, that's where the nose would be. I'm giving you guys a pretty goofy-looking guy right now. And then, if you want to do another eye width from the base of your nose to um, about the bottom of, you know, the, the top of your chin, bottom of your, uh, of your lip flappage. Um, 
if you put the slit of the mouth about where the pupil would be, you've got a propor proportionate mouth, essentially. So everything's kind of measured in eyes. Same thing if you were to go up here, about an eye and a half would be where the hairline would probably start on this dude. Um, given he's kind of goofy looking, if you if you're actually paying attention here, he is really goofy looking. But um, so everything on the head can be measured by eyes. Um, one thing to note is your nostrils right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself bigger for a second. Um, the nostril line here, if you, you know, if you were to trace that all the way up, once again you'd hit your pupils again. So keep that in mind. And then your um, outside rim of your mouth um, can. Sorry, I shouldn't say it goes to your pupil. Um, the outside rim of your mouth goes to where your pupils are. I'm sorry, the inside nose is about where your iris would be if you were drawing um, about your iris or uh, inside tear duct area. Um, especially with my face. My face, I have a really slender nose. Um, but the basics of drawing is all about being able to manipulate your fundamentals. So if I'm drawing an alien, which I like to do sometimes because I'm a, I'm a Star Wars nerd, um, you know, and in this case I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this guy. Um, actually I can probably just delete this layer um, and just create a new one. Okay, so if I was to draw, um, I'll go back up here to red. Switch this back around, but um, okay. So if I was to draw an alien, my proportions wouldn't be as pronounced as that, you know. Um, let's draw a Star Wars alien real quick. Thought I switched that around. My bad. Okay, so I am. Go back to my pen, paintbrush real quick. <coughs> Sorry, sometimes my uh, Photoshop kicks me over to the other end. So, okay, let's go here. And I'll erase this line really quick. I like to do everything in red. Uh, that tells me that it's not finished. Uh, but let's, let's draw a Star Wars alien here. My favorite Star Wars alien is... Uh, Plo Koon, he's a he's a Keldorian. Um, I mean, he's got the basics of a normal head, you know, and his eyes are, you know, right about here. And he kind of always has a scowl on, so. Um, and then his mask is, I'm just going to add some ripples to the nose here, um, his mask kind of does this number here, kind of Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero-esque, um, and you can modify people, you know, when it comes to drawing like aliens and stuff, you can modify that. Uh, and then his ears, he doesn't really have ears. He's got these weird little, like, kidney things hanging off the side of his head. Think Princess Leia's, like, ear flap things. Um, according to Star Wars lore, that's actually part of his breathing stuff. So, we've got a goofy looking alien going here. I'm sorry, I need to change this up for you. Um, just kind of a goofy looking alien thing here. And he's got these little points here. Points here. 
Um, but you notice I I changed and manipulated the uh, basic forms of the face. You know, you, instead of nose and mouth, I put this thing in here. Um, so, or even if we were to, you know, draw a different kind of alien. Go ahead and delete this layer and create a new one. Do a bigger head alien, you know. Traditional alien style. You know, you could put the eyes all the way down here and give him monster size eyes with no real uh, definition. <coughs> you know, you got an alien going there. You know, a little. Give him some, some cheeks ish. You know, change his body structure a little bit. You know. Once again, like I said, I do a lot of stuff in red first. That way I know um, what I'm looking at as far as uh, baseline of my sculpture. You notice I used that head and I turned him into a pretty decent looking alien to be honest with you. Uh, for a quick little sketch, you know, not terrible. I've done worse. Um, but you know, that's manipulation of the basic fundamentals of um, drawing the proportions of the head, you know. And it, when it comes to drawing things that are out of this world or amphibious or whatever, you know, you can change and manipulate the, um, the forms a little bit, you know. I'm putting some some brows on this guy just to see where he can go you know make make him look a little angry maybe even though he's got a bit of a smile going so um, yeah I hope that answers some of your questions as far as uh, proportions are concerned just remember you can measure everything by eyes instead of um, doing uh, trying to come up with your own proportions you know just measure everything by eyes uh, facial hair is not really something I've really gotten down um, don't get me wrong guys I'm, I'm not the best artist in the world and when it comes to finding your style I mean it's a lot of work I'm still kind of in the middle of finding my style so maybe in the midst of me teaching you guys maybe some basics I can you know, find more of my style and help myself in the process. It's also good practice. Um, I will say that with me drawing on my Wacom tablet, um, my art is a lot more loose because of the fact that there's not as much pencil drag with my stylus on the screen. The screen's very, very smooth, whereas paper has a little bit of a tooth to it. And um, you're obviously wiping away graphite or uh, lead or something like that. Uh, I am getting ready to in my next drawing, uh, which will probably be posted today. Uh, I'm going to cover a, a cartoon. Uh, there's a cartoon I've got in my head that I want to draw, uh, and I figured I'd just have you guys tag along with me. Um, I wanted to create an avatar for my channel, and you guys kind of get to see that process of me doodling around and seeing what I can do. I'm just going to kind of throw on some music and um, let you guys watch if that's what you guys want to do. Um, maybe watch and see how I come up with, with some stuff. Uh, thanks again. Uh, don't forget to press that like button. Hit that little Taco Bell on there to uh, get uh, alerted to when I put out new videos, whatnot like that. Um, send me comments, messages, stuff like that. If you like what I'm doing, you know, tell me. If you don't like what I'm doing, criticize. I like constructive criticism. I'm here to learn just as much as you are. Um, 
I'm just kind of going through the basics, you know, of how to draw and how to um, maybe design some stuff, you know. There's the there's a future in art. There always will be. There's always going to be art in our world. And if you have a desire to be an artist, um, you know, maybe following some of the stuff that I'm saying might help you out uh, as far as following that pathway. You know, I didn't think that there was always going to be a pathway for artists, but there is. You know, you've got to have documentation and history of where we've been. And art is a big part of that so uh, like I said like comment subscribe please thumbs up if you like the video uh, I'm always down for con some constructive criticism thanks guys